guys I hope you're all well so today we're carrying on with our print and cut sticker series if you've not watched the previous videos I will link to them in the description below they're well worth watching especially if you want to create really beautiful sticker sheets so I showed you how you can create backgrounds in design space today I want to show you how you can create a border around your stickers so that you're not cutting into the actual sticker. So first of all, we are in Inkscape. It's a free to use program. I've said it before, I'll say it again, not my most favorite program in the world, but it is free. I just find it very temperamental and I try and do as much as I possibly can in design space. We're going to go to file and we are going to open and I can then select a clip art image, for example. I'm gonna choose one that I've just um, installed from Creative Fabrica. So let's go with the witch and we can open. Don't need to change any of these, so I can just go to okay. So she is in there and I'm going to create a background layer that's bigger than she is, so it creates a nice border all the way around. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select her and I know she's selected because when I click I end up with these arrows and I'm going to go path and object to path. Without unclicking her I'm then going to go path and trace bitmap. If I click update it will show me what it's going to to look like so I want to change the brightness so I'm going to just go all the way up to one and then update and that is too far so there's about perfect you can see we've got white spots in there we're going to make it solid so don't panic we then select OK and close that down if I move it you'll see that we've got a few areas there that are showing through. We want her to be solid. So what we're going to do, we're going to come up to path and we're going to select break apart and you'll see all those white bits come to the front and without clicking off her, so without clicking anything, we're then going to select path again and we're going to select union. And now she becomes a complete solid image to the point that even this cutaway piece here is now hidden, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. So I'm just going to change the colour to green just so that I can see it nice and easy. And I'm going to bring this one over and you see it goes underneath. So all I'm then going to do, so if we come up to object, we can come down to here and it says raise to top and that will bring the layer to the top. We then want to place them so they're over each other. So you want to bring your image over your, or what is now your background image. You then want to select the background image and you're going to go to path and outset and you can click that again so you can go to path outset and you can keep doing it until you are happy with it so there is about right for what I want and I'm happy with that so what I can then do is change the color from green to white. I then want to highlight both as you see them. I'm going to come up to file and export PNG image. You'll see it comes up with this box here. I'm going to export as and I can then give it a name and save it and save it to my pictures and save and then I need to click export. If you don't click export, it won't save. So select export. We can then open design space. 
we can go to upload image browse I can select the image and open and you'll see when we bring it in you've got that white border and there's no background always select as a complex continue we don't need to do anything so we go to continue always have a look at how it's going to cut you want to save it as a print and cut give it a name and a tag so it's easy to find save you can then select the ones that you've created borders on and insert those I'm just going to get a rectangle so that we can see that so I'm going to arrange and center back unlock that and there we go that is how if you want borders around your stickers that's how you're going to create them in Inkscape as always, thank you so much for watching. If you want to know how to actually create your sticker sheets now that you've created your border backgrounds, again, I'll link to that video below. If you've got any questions, please do put them. Any suggestions, that'd be brilliant. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.